I'm in a Hmong village in the hills north of Chiang Mai, in the old Lana Kingdom. They still live in a traditional manner here, but very close to that. Ah, Farang Tini Club. So I think up. And while today these hill tribe people rely as much on tourism as anything else. A lot of that tradition still exists, and they're very hardworking and friendly people. So what they cut? I'm in the village of Kun Chan Tien, a Hmong village outside of Chiang Mai, north of Chiang Mai, up on a mountaintop, and it's kind of a real village. I mean, they do welcome tourists here as well, and they have a coffee shop, but I just had a taste of this coffee, a cappuccino, and it's delicious, and I found out that it's grown here too. So I'm thinking, oh, they're getting modernized away from the old ways, but this man's growing his old coffee, his own coffee, and that's what that is over there drying the coffee in the sunlight. So he's not only growing the beans, he's sun roasting them and cooking them up in his little shop here. Really very cool. Has a picture of the old king up on the wall too when he was a young man. Nice picture. This is the beloved Rama 9. I don't know if they have the same kind of reverence for him up here because when that king was that age, and this is the king here. Any, any grandfather? Uh, that's your grandfather? Yeah. Ah. So this is the grandfather of this gentleman here, who runs one heck of a coffee shop, Cop and Cop. Three weeks ago, I traveled up to Chiang Mai, and I was visiting with my two friends, Bill and, and Greeny. And Bill has lived in the region for about 15 years. He knows it quite well. And he very graciously drove Greeny and I around showing us uh, some interesting parts of the, of the region. Now, I was not focused on shooting videos. I was taking still pictures. I, I like still photography, and I had my, my, my Nikon. I'm, I'm shooting this video with the Nikon right now, but normally I use it for my still photography. When I shoot video, I, I, I usually use my iPhone 11 Pro Max for video and focus mostly on still photography with an icon. Bill took us to one really lovely village, a Hmong village, uh, in, in the hills just north of Chiang Mai. And we stopped in this coffee shop, which you've already seen, and, um, and I shot a few video shots with the Nikon and I had forgotten about it. And last night when I was organizing my files, I, I found the footage. Now, it's only three minutes of footage, and you've already seen it. I put it up here because when I saw it last night, I thought, this is why I like YouTube and BitChute. Uh, because everyday folks can go out and point their cameras at stuff and, and every once in a while get something that's really kind of special. And I thought that video footage was kind of special because... For me, it, it captured what it felt like to be in this village of, of, uh, of people who were very gracious and friendly and warm, and they made damn good coffee at that. So, uh, so I thought I'd put it up here and, and let you guys take a look at it, too. I, I know I like the footage. I hope you did as well. I want to give a big shout-out and a thank you to Greeny for allowing me to use some footage from his video of that experience. Uh, because there was only three minutes that I had shot with an icon, and, um, and Greeny's stuff helped add a little bit of context to it. So uh, Bill and Greeny both have channels. I'll link them in the description. 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I, I, I enjoyed watching it, and, uh, and thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.